Hey guys, I wanted to bring up a couple points about fat-soluble vitamins versus water-soluble vitamins. Uh, a couple simple differences. Fat-soluble vitamins are stored in your fat cells and in your liver. Water-soluble are not stored, and if you consume too much, your body will just get rid of what you don't need. The interesting thing about fat-soluble vitamins, and I'm talking about vitamin A, D, E, K1, and K2, is they're able to penetrate the fat layer on your cells and go deeper and even affect the DNA and the mitochondria. Whereas water-soluble, uh, most of them cannot bypass this lipid membrane, this fat layer right here. So the water-soluble vitamins are the B vitamins and vitamin C, okay? And of course, we're not talking about other nutrients like minerals or trace minerals. We're just talking about fat-soluble versus water-soluble. Now, as far as when to take these, um, you would wanna take these with food, with fat, because if you consume fat, they'll be absorbed better. These you can take any time because you don't need fat to help them be absorbed. They're water-soluble. Fat-soluble vitamins are toxic in large amounts. Why? Well, because they're stored and they're not able to be released through the urine like water-soluble ones are if you take too much. So let's say, for example, you consumed liver from a polar bear. And by the way, have a tremendous amount of concentrated vitamin A. Well, that can actually kill you. It's very, very toxic and that quantity. But if you're taking the B vitamins or vitamin C, your body will tend to get rid of them. You probably noticed that when you urinated after taking B vitamins, that bright yellow color of urine. That's the B vitamins coming out because you took too many and you probably took synthetic. Usually when you take uh, food-based or even nutritional yeast B vitamins, you won't see that yellow urine because those are more natural and your body is using them. And the last point I wanna bring up is that when you're fasting, you usually don't need to take the fat-soluble vitamins. Why? Because you have enough stored uh, fat-soluble vitamins to last you a bit of time. But with water-soluble vitamins, if you go on a prolonged fast, you should be taking vitamins simply because your body doesn't store these. I mean, it stores some of them like B12, but not all of them. So you could end up with a major deficiency if you fast too long. So when you're fasting, B vitamins are good to take and vitamin C. And of course, minerals too, primarily potassium, okay, uh, and sodium. But realize your body really uh, conserves a lot of sodium, but does not store potassium. So you lose a lot of potassium and you need a lot of potassium. And that's one of the reasons why I recommend taking potassium twice as, at least twice as much as your sodium. All right, thanks for watching and check out this other video I have on vitamins. I think you'll find it quite interesting.